Hi, welcome to Comet Knowledge Sharing Program. This is Elan Cherian, Director at Comet Computers of Private Limited. In this video, we'll be uh, discussing about the features of Windows Server 2019. So, first important feature of uh, Windows Server 2019 is uh, Windows Admin Center. So, with this feature, we can administrate the Windows uh, Server 2019. Uh, server roles as well as the clusters and hyper-v converged infrastructure as well as the windows 10 pcs uh, for using this feature we need to install the windows admin center uh, utility uh, actually it is uh, available free of cost you can download this and install it in any one of the server and from that server you can manage all the other windows 2019 servers as well as the windows 10 pcs so uh, this is actually a, a web-based uh, uh, utility so using web browser itself uh, an administrator can manage the windows 2019 and windows 10 uh, pcs and other important feature is the system insights actually this is actually a, a an a enhanced uh, feature of the uh, system monitoring so where uh, this insight uh, has many features uh, like it can give the uh, predictive analytic uh, capabilities as, as well as uh, uh, it can uh, <clears throat> give you the performance alerts and it can give you the uh, system event alerts and uh, this is going to work uh, with the additional functionality with the machine learning model so that uh, this can reduce the uh, company's uh, uh, operation expenses uh, for monitoring and the other important feature is the desktop experience actually the while installation we can choose whether we need a, a core installation or a installation with the desktop experience this is a, actually a feature which is available in the earlier version but now uh, this desktop experience feature uh, it has an extended feature in the server core so where when you uh, run your operating system with the uh, server core uh, functionalities so for a specific uh, tools uh, if you uh, if that particular tool needs a desktop experience so the uh, binary is required for that particular application or that particular utility alone can be added so that uh, uh, with the server core operating system itself we can run the specific application or a specific uh, uh, utility with the desktop experience without adding the Windows desktop experience graphical environment itself. So this is actually the new feature in the uh, 2019. And the other important feature is uh, uh, 2019 is uh, coming with the HTTP version 2. So which uh, gives you the faster uh, experience on the uh, web pages as well as uh, this has a uh, 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 <clears throat> connection uh, reliability feature so which can um, uh, improve the user experience and also the uh, performance uh, can be improved with this uh, feature and the other important feature is the storage migration service so this is uh, another uh, new service uh, which allows us to migrate the um, uh, server file server something like uh, uh, if you want to migrate your data along with your application from one server to another server that is from the old server to the new server so this uh, storage migration service allows you to um, transfer the data to the newer server so without uh, any other uh, third party tools required and also the other feature is uh, windows uh, defender uh, advanced threat protection uh, in the earlier version also we have the a windows defender functionality but now this windows defender functionality uh, has uh, more uh, features uh, added uh, to it so where it can uh, expose the uh, memory viruses as well as the kernel level attacks also and uh, this uh, advanced threat protection is further improved with uh, uh, exploit guard windows defender atp exploit guard so this exploit guard is added with uh, four important components uh, which is called uh, network protection, control folder access, exploit protection and uh, surface uh, attack surface reduction. So these are all the four important com uh, components which has been added along with the Windows Defender uh, ATP exploit guard. 
So where the attack surface reduction, yeah, it actually um, uh, has the controls uh, that an enterprise can uh, enable to prevent the malware from uh, getting in the machine by blocking the suspicious files and the scripts or any other ransomware behavior or email based threats. So this can be mitigated with this uh, attack surface reduction. And the network protection uh, protects the endpoints uh, against the web-based threats by blocking any uh, outbound process that has been uh, taken uh, from your machine to another IP or an untrusted IP. So that is going to be mitigated with this network protection. And also this called a uh, controlled uh, folder access uh, protects the uh, sensitive data from ransomware attacks by blocking the untrusted uh, process from accessing your protected files and also exploit protection is another uh, new uh, component which is being uh, integrated with the uh, windows defender so which can <clears throat> mitigate the uh, set of vulnerabilities or the exploits so that can be configured for your applications and your systems and the other new feature is the uh, Linux uh, shielded virtual machines. Even uh, shielded virtual machines uh, was actually an earlier feature in 2016 also, where we can uh, configure a shielded virtual machine only for the Windows uh, based virtual machine, but not for the Linux based virtual machine. But now in 2019, we can also have shielded virtual machines for the uh, virtual machines running with the Linux, uh, Linux operating system as the guest operating system. And also now we have a feature of uh, Linux containers on Windows. So this is another new feature. So where we can run Windows based machines as well as the Linux based uh, containers on the uh, same host. And also we have another feature that is the uh, encrypted networks. So where the virtual network can be encrypted earlier version doesn't have this feature. This 2019 has the feature. Uh, which uses the data gram uh, transport layer security so that we, uh, this can be configured for any particular subnet to encrypt the packets so that your data can be secured uh, in the virtual network and these are all the important topics uh, which has been uh, <coughs> introduced by uh, microsoft operating system uh, in 2019 and uh, that's all the features and uh, do uh, subscribe our uh, channel and also don't forget to like and share this video so that you, your friends also can get the benefit of this uh, knowledge thank you bye bye